Ho oh, ho Jake Paul fans, they're quiet now. I just love a classic KSIW and a common Jake Paul L. Jake Paul fans are the bane of my existence and they absolutely suck. Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy CB Prodigy and today we will be talking about the KSI event. It was an absolute amazing event and I loved every single minute of it. I just wanted to go through and give my reaction to the whole card in general. Starting off with Dean the Great. Dean absolutely destroyed Evil Hero and he is going to make a splash in the YouTube boxing scene. Salt Poppy. Salt Poppy had one of the coldest knockouts in YouTube boxing history and I am so excited to see how far he goes in this industry. He is an absolute star in the making and i'm excited to see who he fights next now a little bit of a controversial issue king kenny versus Faye sensei now personally i'll be the first person to say it don't really care what anyone thinks Faye sensei i believe that he should have won he was controlling the fight the whole time and to be honest with you i think he got robbed now bear in mind i like king kenny and i like Faye sensei so realistically it could have went either way for me but when credit is due i will give it Face Sensei absolutely should have won, and do I think it's going to get overturned? Yes. But Face Sensei is a humble guy, so I don't know if he would go that far. But I think the Face Clan organization, I think that they're going to do it for him. And you have to think, in the first round, there was a knockdown. And then the second round could have went either way. In the third round, I gave Face Sensei the win. And then the fourth round, could have given it to anyone, and I guess you can give it to Kenny. So yeah, that's my take on it. I think Face Sensei should have won, but fair play to both of them, and hopefully it gets resolved. I thought that Sam Hyde did well. It was sort of just a big man matchup, so it is what it is. Base Temper versus Slim? Holy. I did not expect that at all. I truly thought that Face Temper was going to win. Listen, Slim came out and he was ready to fight. So Slim absolutely shocked the world and left his mark in the YouTube boxing scene. So now he put his stock up and now people have to take him seriously. So congrats to Slim. Now moving on to the fights that I had a little bit more emotion in. Deji versus Fusi. Holy what a night for Deji. Deji absolutely controlled the whole match. Deji was letting combinations go, he was letting his hands fly, he was hitting, getting in, then getting out, and he put on a master class showing. So you see what happens when Deji lets his hands fly, he is one of the best in the YouTube boxing scene. So congratulations to Deji, you finally got your redemption, you finally got your first win, and we are all happy and proud of you. Now moving on to the main man himself, KSI. Now in the first match, KSI for Swarms, KSI absolutely dominated. And realistically, no one thought anything else was going to happen. But you could see he is miles above where he was at against Logan. He was fit. His footwork was good. And instead of throwing windmills, he did it overhand right. And that is his money punch. So now moving on to KSI versus Luis Pineda. Let me just say, Luis, what a... Like, I've never seen a pro boxer complain that much. Legit got hit in the rib and then complained that it was the back of the head. Now, I don't know much about biology, but I do not think that your rib and the back of your head correlate. So yeah, I was really expecting Luis to do a little bit better, but he was just overwhelmed with the pressure that KSI was putting on him. So congrats to KSI, you shocked the world and you did absolutely fantastic. So for me to make mention in this video, talking about what a lot of people were saying on Twitter, basically saying that KSI was still looking the same and that he didn't improve at all. The level of opponents he was facing was not good. And to some extent, I kind of agree. Swarms and Luis did not perform on the night. But in my opinion, why is that? Why did they not perform? Was it because they were just sh Or was it because KSI was putting on the pressure? In my opinion, Luis was there in the first round ready to fight. But then as soon as he got hit with the pressure of KSI and then that body shot, you could see everything just sort of changed. And so it's crazy to me that all these Jake Paul fans are saying, oh, it didn't really show anything and Jake is still the best. But you're telling me that Nate Robinson and Ben Askren were better than those two? Personally, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, if you truly think that, you are can I say that? But yes, it's true. You truly do need mental help if you think that. So by that logic, it's okay for Jake to do that. But as soon as KSI might fight people that probably didn't perform on the night, 
that's when it's not okay. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. You're just biased. You're just dick riding and it doesn't make any sense. So yes, all in all, Hold this L and keep dick riding. So yes, that feels amazing to get off my chest. On the other hand, I do agree that now KSI has to up the levels. You see that he's serious, you see that he has improved. Whether you want to admit it or not, he is levels above where he was against Logan. So now, who should he fight next? Austin McBroom would be a good fight. Andrew Tate would be a good fight. Tommy Fury would be a good fight. All these fights could potentially happen before we get the main fight of Jake Paul vs. KSI. But yes, that was my take on the events and the aftermath of it. What do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know. We can have a discussion about it. But yes, KSI, Deji, so, so proud of you. Us as fans, we are so proud of you. And y'all promised on everything that you said you were going to do. But anyways, guys, it has been your boy CB Prodigy. And I'll see you guys next time. What do you do? Uh, on you too. Uh, you know I'm dripping, baby. And you dripping too. Uh.